All right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai Ba'asham Shakadash. Double honors to the apostles and yours, the great millstone who rule well and who teach well. Much peace and mercy to the whole of the leg. I'm going to start here at Romans chapter 11, verse 4. But what saith the answer of the Most High unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Even so, then, at this present time also, there is a remnant according to the, the election of grace. <clears throat> and if by grace, then it is no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then is it no more grace? Otherwise, work is no more work. What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. And I'm going to stop there for a second. You know, um, like I said, this is an in-transit video, but this is what I'm going to be building off of, and that is what the title of this video is going to be. A lot of these Israelites who have come into this knowledge are not all men to receive the 100% truth. I'm going to say that again. Not all of the Israelites who come into this knowledge are meant to receive the 100% truth. And that's just facts. As it is written here in the seventh verse. Not uh, have Israel. Read it one more time. What then? Israel hath not obtained, obtained that which he seeketh for. Israel is the whole nation, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So the, the elect is going to receive the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures in, in its full uh, in its fullness. There's a scripture that says, Ye have an unction and know all things. See, so so the elect is gonna know the names of the Heavenly Father. They're going to have fear towards the Heavenly Father's name and His Son's name. Because you got camps out there that's teaching. You know, you don't have to you don't have to know the names, man. Several accounts, you know, I was, I was I came across some videos. You know, brothers posted some of the videos as well. Uh, you got you got this IUIC cat Deacon ASAP or SOP, however you want to say his name. Um, you know, he was yeah, at one point in his sermon, I guess, he was talking about how because uh, there was a question, somebody asked a question, and basically they asked, if I'm not mistaken, I don't want to put words in their mouth. They asked, they, they, they basically asked about the names. They said, Oh, they said, uh, if you know that the name of our Lord. He, they they use they use the bug now name they use Yeho Yehoshua ha, 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 Hamashiach or something along those lines. But basically he asked or they asked, if you know the name of our Lord, why do you continue to call on Jesus the Christ? And he, he got mad, you know. He said, uh, I'm tired. Of, I'm tired of these black Hebrew Israelites coming coming on the comment boards and. And asking us why we don't use these other names and, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. He didn't even really answer the question. It was all emotion, all, um, you know, anger. Because they know deep down inside, you know, they, the truth is coming out, man. And they're losing a lot of followers. But a lot of their followers that they retain are only meant to be deceived the scriptures say that the lord has the deceit the deceiver and the deceived are his so if 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 there's groups out there that's not teaching the correct names they're not telling you the true name of the heavenly father and his son then then and, and this continual thing is not oh okay yeah we we know we repent we're about to call upon the names etc 
etc etc then then where would the 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 unwanted go where would the blinded go who has been sanctioned to be blinded until the destruction they hey if every israelite group repented and, and came to the heavenly father and then uh, uh worship the truth and sincerity it says that in the book of isaiah the sixth chapter they will have to be healed isaiah chapter six starting at verse nine and he said go and tell this people hear ye indeed but understand not it's like it reading this real fast he said go and tell this people hear ye indeed but understand not and see ye indeed but perceive not make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes lest they see with their e their <laughs> see with their ears see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed so there has to be a groups of men out there to satisfy the blinded the unwanted those who the heavenly father don't want on this side who are allotted to be destroyed as it reads here verse 11 then said i lord how long and he answered until the cities be wasted without inhabitant and the houses without man and the land be utterly desolate and the lord yahweh have removed men far away and there be a great forsakening in the midst of the land so the lord said they're not going to get it until all these things be destroyed man we know that destruction is going to come through thermonuclear destruction icbm missiles as you read uh second peter 3 and 10 it says that the elements shall burn with fervent heat there's going to be nothing left so until these until these buildings are no more until this the, the grass is burnt up all everything turned into pitch and sand that's when they're they're not gonna get it man you know so there has to be groups set up men set up in high positions that will lead these blinded unwanted uh 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 <laughs> astray there's false prophets out there, man. Let me, let me see. Uh, what's that? I think it's 2 Peter 2. Yeah. 2 Peter 2 and 1. But there were false prophets also among the people. Even as there shall be false teachers among you who privily shall bring in damnable heresies and uh, even denying the Lord that bought them and, and bring unto themselves swift destruction. You see, do not the majority of these, these other camps deny the Lord? They don't only deny him through deed, but they deny him through name. Because the scriptures say that we were not bought with gold and silver and precious stones, etc. Roughly paraphrasing it. But, but by the precious blood of Yahweh Shai. So that's how we were bought. And then when you think about it, you go to the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, when it says uh, in the ver uh, 68th verse, you shall, the Lord shall send thee in Egypt again with ships, and thou shalt see it no more again. Um, ye shall be sold unto your enemy as bond men and bond, bond women, and no man shall buy you. Right when you look up that word and you and, and you, you get the understanding, it needs to be redeemed. No man will redeem us from this captivity. But now, through the sacrifice of our Lord Yahushua Hamashiach, we have been bought. We have been bought through the precious blood of our Savior. But they denied the Lord. Why? Because they were blinded. As it reads, we read it in Romans 11 chapter. So I'm actually going to jump back there. Romans 11. In verse 8. According as it is written, the Most High hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should see not, and ears that they should hear not, until this day. 
And David saith, let their table be, a, be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. So the thing that was meant for their benefit, you know, benefit has become something to their detriment. This this word and this truth was meant to to save us, man. The scriptures say, "Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free." Mentally, our minds would, would no longer be tied to the to the the idea of Babylon being the end all be all, being servants underneath this devil, being shit through, man, as a nation. Right, we understand all of these things. We understand that there is a kingdom that's going to come. And, and, and that kingdom is going to uh, be in righteousness. And that this place is in complete wickedness. Why? Because it's ruled by Esau Edom, the so-called white man. Who was established as a power when you read um, Romans the ninth chapter. It said that for this very same purpose have I rose up Pharaoh. That I might... You know, make known my name through thee. So the Lord set this place up to be the ultimate example of what not to fucking be on this earth. And the Lord is going to destroy it with the mighty destruction, with the with the grand finale of destruction. It will no longer be war. It will no longer be a time like this ever before. No other place ever. Will, will be hit with thermonuclear missiles to be destroyed, man. This is going to be the first and the last to be completely and utterly wiped off of the face of the earth. That says something, man. Now, you had the time of Sodom, Gomorrah, and the different cities that, that were destroyed by the Heavenly Father. But they that they that was the Lord. He, he you know, used elements and made it to where basically... Uh, you know, fire rain from heaven. Those different, you know, some people, they even said that it was uh, traces of, of, if I'm not mistaken, like um, atomic uh, particles or something like that. I could be wrong. It was some, some type of particles that was, you know, remnants left over. Um, reading on verse 10. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back always. Verse 11. I say then. Have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid. But rather through their fall, salvation has come unto the Gentiles for to provoke them to jealousy. And that's what happened. You had um, Yahweh Shai went to, you know, the, the, the Pharisees and the men who, who knew they were Jews. And they received, you know, they received them not, man. They, they, they crucified the Lord, man. But then, uh, you know, Paul was sent unto the Gentiles. He was sent unto the scattered, those who who, who were um, heathenized, etc. Uh, et and you know they came in. Look at Cornelius, man. He was a he was an Israelite, a centurion, right? In his household, they they believed. You know, he says scripture say he prayed daily, man. If I'm not mistaken, so he had faith. You know, Edomite's not gonna have faith, man. Especially to pray pray to the Heavenly Father. Um, so I'm going to jump to another precept here. This is um, Romans chapter 9 and verse 6. Not as though the word of the Most High had taken an effect. For they are not all Israel which are of Israel. So there's a, a select number of people. Two thirds of the nation of Israel. And whoever else is allotted for destruction, yeah, especially two thirds of uh, over here in America, um, you know, they're not, all Israel is not of Israel, man. That means that they have been sanctified and predestinated from the beginning of the, the before the foundation of the uh, earth to be destroyed, man. Ain't that something? Just like how the elect was predestinated. And preordained before the foundation of the of the world and the earth to be to be saved. That's something, man. That's scary. You know. Verse seven. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children, but in Isaac 
shall thy seed be called. So, the Lord's only dealing with Israel. Because, you know, the seed of Isaac, he had two seeds. Esau and Jacob. Esau being the firstborn and Jacob being the one that came out second. So, ultimately, uh, <clears throat> scriptures say that he put by Esau. You know? So, let me grab this real quick. Uh, yeah. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 13. Sanctify the Lord Yahweh of hosts himself and let him be your fear and let him be your dread. Why? Because scriptures say, Heavenly Father is omnipotent. You know, he has he he, he has the the, he, he, the issues of life and death. Um, scriptures say he kill and make alive. Even Yahweh Shai said, fear it, fear him that can destroy the soul and body in hell. You know, in these bodies, man. Think about it. Verse 14, and he shall be for a sanctuary, but for a stone of stumbling and for a rock of offense to both the houses of Israel, for a gin and for a snare to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And, among, and many among them shall stumble and fall and be broken and be snared and be taken. You see? So not all that this truth is not for all of Israel on this side. This truth is only for a remnant. We read it. Uh, he had a, um, a remnant. Even even uh, to this day, there is a remnant. So the Lord is only dealing with that remnant. He's only dealing with the elect of the nation of Israel. Not all Israel that, that come into this knowledge is going to have the 100% truth. That's just, that's just, hey. So all these, you know, man, you got... These Passover parties, men are throwing. They got the thrones, you know. They got the women and children there. Man, look. Hey, be grateful, man, that, you know, we have been blessed and, 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 and we, we have been given grace to truly understand this truth to truly know what's 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 going on you know we can see we have the eye south we know that this devil is about to come down with great wrath very soon man they're 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 passing their bills their executive orders to uh cut you know try and cut back on this word it's all just a matter of time, man. The prophets aren't going to be on the highways and byways for too much longer. Let me say that one more time. The prophets of Yahweh Shemiah Shai will not be on the highways and byways for too much longer. They're making moves. They're, 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 hey, look, make sure your faith is sufficient in that day. Scriptures say, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. You gotta have faith, man. If your faith is weak, if you're still doubting, if you're still on the fence, you need to get it situated. You can't be listening to all these different groups because they, they make you feel good. Because they speak sweet things. Sweet things gonna get you killed, man. You need the bitters, the bitter herbs, <laughs> right? We just finished the Passover. Now we're in the, uh, the day of, of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. So what? You got to make sure your faith is sufficient, man. Make sure your faith is sufficient. If your faith is not sufficient, you need to pray. Pray for more faith. Pray to Yahweh Shem Shai to increase your faith, to increase your um, fear in His name, so that when the evil day come, you know you be able to stand. Having that whole armor, as it reads. In Ephesians the whole armor of the most high being able to withstand the, the fiery darts of the wicked you know I'm paraphrasing precepts but that's something that we have to have man 
So like I said, I'm going to end it there. I don't want it to go too long. Pray this was edifying and faith boosting. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to you. Shalom.